Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Medicus channel. Today we will learn some basic suture cutting techniques. For this we should use sterile glove and I will show you how to put it on. I use right hand first as I am right handed. Then we take right hand underneath the cuff part of this and be careful not to touch my other hand. Now use antiseptic swab to clean along the incision and it is very useful to prevent infection. We are going to take our gauge and set it beside the working area. We use scissor in our dominant hand and tweezer in our non-dominant hand. Let's start the cutting. But we are not going to cut the upper side of the knot. So we will cut that side of the knot which is closer to the skin and it is very important for simple interrupted suture. We grab the knot and cut the suture and pull it over the insertion. After that, put it on the gauge. Always remember, if we cut that side of the knot and pull that out, the upper part of the thread that been contact with outside and contain germs on it. These gonna slide underneath the wound, introducing all kind of germ into the wound and make possible infections. Setting up of gauge is very important for removing the sutures because this is where we are going to drop each suture so that we can count how many suture we removed and make sure all the suture thread are intact. Oh, I forgot to say something that is, before cutting the suture, we have to follow some precautions. That is, first check for the infection. Is the site really red? Worm to touch? Or any hard areas? Or it has any smell? Next, look at the line of suture. Does the skin look nice and fuse together? If everything is okay, then we can remove it. Next, we have simple continuous suture. It is also very easy to cut. First, grab the knot and cut the suture and pull over the wound. Grab the thread, cut it and pull over the wound. Now we have simple continuous locking suture. For this, grab the knot, cut the two line of the thread and pull it over. Rest of the part are similar to others, that is, grab the thread, cut it and pull it over. After finish the cutting suture, we have one more important thing to do, that is gather all the removed suture and throw it into the dustbin to maintain hospital's protocol. That's all we should maintain for suture cutting. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.